Hey what's up guys, it's the Dark Shadow here and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I've been working on for the past week. So yeah, this is what, this is going to be like the first part of it, there's more stuff that I need to get done with it, but this is just a preview of what is to come. But yeah, this is basically like going to be the restaurant included into my Fallout Bolt mock that I'm going to try and do. But yeah, I'm just going to give an overview. Because I just want to keep all the figures where they are. Because it's going to be really hard to keep them right where they are supposed to be. Yeah, I'm just going to spin this around. I wish I had like one of those spinny tables. That would be really cool. Just to rotate this thing around. It would be really nice. But yeah, there's me in my Volt suit. And yeah, I also made this custom made... Uh, Hopefully I can be able to get it back. Nope, I can't. <laughs> Here, let me try and get this thing out. Probably won't work and I will probably destroy it. Nope, I got it. Sweet. Alright, I'm just going to show you this. This is basically a Nuka-Cola machine that I created myself. And this is actually credited due to, I can't remember, oh yeah, it's Lego Paradise, I believe his name is. And you could go check him out in the description below. But yeah, I actually really like this design. It looks really similar to the actual game design as well. But yeah, I'm just going to put this right back in here. Oh, something dropped and I don't know what it was. Oh, there's this drawer right here. Let me just fix that real quick. There we go. But yeah, there's the kitchen area in the back. I'm going to lift this up for once. There's the kitchen area back there. And here is the actual dining area with my two Mr. Handies that I have right there. He's giving him a Nuka Cola. And he, and he is trying to bring in this cargo of carrots right up to this. It's kind of hard because it keeps falling over. There we go. As you can see right there. And I thought it would be nice to give them like an inclusion of these little hats to see that they're actual workers. But yeah, this is just pretty much what it is. And I also included these, uh, uh, like these Lego news right here. Because it somewhat makes sense because I think that looks more so like an a Adam Mushroom, you know what I mean? And it just shows like the, like, like the greatest Lego hero right there. And it could be talking about the Lone Wanderer or the Vault Dweller. Or the Soul Survivor, or the Courier, or the Chosen One. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is just pretty much it. I'm just giving an overview because I'm working on something else as well. But yeah, I will give a full, distinct review when I'm fully done with my actual design and build of this. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm just giving you guys a short little preview of what is to come. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more great content. And I will talk to you all later. Dark Shadow out.